Here's my sneak peek at uh, 2009, and uh, I've got my five uh, pneumatic props all kind of stuck in the corner of the basement so I can test it all out. And I thought I'd show you a couple of other things. Okay, you see the DM Exorcist program that's loaded up and ready to go, and it's got my five programs on there, Werewolf, Snake, Terra, Spider, and Boogity. And out of the computer, comes my sound. This is my sound card that splits off into my three props that use the sound from the computer, Boogity, Werewolf, and Terra. That goes off here. Now out of here is a USB cable that goes to a powered four USB, powered four port USB, and out of that is the DM Exorcist box and the Entech. And that's pretty much all the wiring I have. I just take the DMX signal, for example, and I just follow it to the first thing that uses DMX, DMX relay, then that goes off to the light, and then the light goes off to the other relay, and that goes off to the light, and then it terminates. And using the DMX, that's how I'm getting all the signals to all the props to fire the solenoids and some of the lights, and um, I think that's it. I don't know. Oh, a strobe light. Here's uh, my five port manifold that's going to be in the garage. The main airline is right here. The shaking thing right here it goes up into the bottom of the manifold and then it splices off into the five props. Some of them have uh, regulators, others don't. I needed some bigger air. And that's pretty much how the, the pneumatics go. Each wire goes to each of the props. Okay, here's the coolest part. Everything's on a remote. <laughs> So, what happens if I press button number one? <laughs> and what would happen if I press button number four? <laughs> now what if the kids came in and they need to fire the fifth prop? I could do it at the same time. <laughs> and here's Tara, of course, with her air cannon. Poor kids aren't going to stand a chance. <laughs> and here's the snakes. <laughs> oh, let's go for one again. Yeah! <laughs> How about four? <laughs> Five! Okay, one last thing before I go. Um, here's a preview of my 3D wall panels. There's going to be an entire maze in the second half of the haunt. And uh, these are amazing 3D effects using fluorescent paints. Uh, red advances, blue recedes, green is in the middle. And so, it, like those eyes, the eyeballs come at you. I mean, they look like they're hovering two feet from the, the thing itself and that gate. and Oh, it's it's really cool. The the lightning, the green stands away from the blue, so it's an incredible 3D effect. Um, oh, by the way, I wanted to show you this. This is my palette I'm working with. Let's see if I can get the right angle there. Anyway, I'm having a blast. I'm using a combination of my airbrush and hand painting, 
and I've got loads and loads of them. Look at all those wall panels. I better get busy. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.